cleared out. Here's Ruffner again. The last time we saw Upper St. Clair in this rink, this line was completely dominant. It generated all five goals in a 5 nothing win against Cannon Mack, the other AAA tenant in this building. All five of those goals were at even strength as well. So there were no cheapies. <laughs> Not that any goal is ever um, a cheap one, but uh, you know what I mean. They worked for theirs. They got them all at five on five. Here's an opportunity. Tomko scores! Speaking of five on five goal scorers, Will Tomko can bury it with the best of them. His 15th goal of the season to lead this squad. And what a riser that was from the high slot. Peters Township leads at one nothing. Tomko's 15th goal, his 13th at even strength this year. And last year's AAA goal-scoring champion as a freshman is on that goal-a-game pace even better as a sophomore. Tomko rings one up, and Peters Township once again strikes early. It's been a strength of theirs. Look for all the world, it was going to be his sixth shorthanded goal. Yes, sixth. Chance score! A wrister from Caputo rattles in off the body of Cottrell, and it's 2-0 from a sharp angle. Caputo, his second goal of the year, he simply overpowered Cottrell from the outer edge of the left circle. at Peters Township and the tribe just keeps on rolling so Tomko scores and now it's the supporting cast Charlie Caputo second goal fifth point with 651 to go in the first period that by Ben Kovac but Ruffner controls this face off on his backhand off to Hardy took the shot save Hilbert it was available and it goes in the net what a strange one there as Ringwald tried to clear it. And I think he might have put that in off the post himself. Either way, it all counts for Upper St. Clair. It's a 2-1 game. Let's take a look at this replay. I have a hard time figuring out how that went in. Huh. I think it was Ringwald shooting it off of something, but George Garces was right there in the crease, basically. He might have gotten a stick on that. If so... That's the senior's fourth goal of the year, all on the power play. Ruffner against Tomko at the right-handed dot. And Tomko, a clean win. Woods wristing. That's off of Kovac's skate. It's blocked over to the sidewall. Turned over, though. Stuff try from behind. The goal goes in. Oh, what a chance and what a goal for Tomko. He went for the power move there once and twice. He cracked it from the side of the net, and the second chance went in for a 3-1 lead with 1.14 to go before intermission. And he did that all himself, as you see here. Picked it off, and on the follow-up, on his own rebound, he popped it over the pad of Cottrell. The goaltender was there, but just too much tenacity. Mertens against Ruffner at the faceoff dot. Ryder Mertens starting to pile up the points. Now has nine goals on the year to go with nine assists. Five of those goals on the power play. Four of those assists on the power play. So he has nine of his 18 points on the advantage, does Mertens. Here working during five-on-five -five play, though. Angle pass. It's a good one. Finds Zach Hardy. Ends up behind the goal. Eludes a shoulder check there. Hardy dished it behind Ringwald. Oh, what a pass in front score! That line does it again. Ruffner with a basic tap-in as it turned out. Aaron Stawiarski put it on a platter with a behind-the-back backhand pass from behind the net. Take a second look at this one. Roll the highlight reel again for this trio. Hardy behind the net. Stawiarski. And you saw it. He gave it a look over his shoulder. He knew 77 was going to be right there on the doorstep. It's 3-2. to two over Hardy. Stawiarski pulls this out of his skates deftly to avoid the offside. Dropped it back. Second minute of this power play now. Stawiarski emerges from behind the goal. Made the pass out to Hardy at the point. Cross rank Ruffner into the middle. Stawiarski scores! It's 3-3. What a pass. And again, 
It's Hardy to Ruffner to Stawiarski this time. But those three connect again. It's a potent trio. And speaking of trios, we're tied 3-3. 11, 18 to go in the second period. And talk about a buried shot from Stawiarski is 14th goal of the year and third on the power play. Goes out to the line for a wrist shot that was off the blocker hand of Hilbert, it appeared, and off the glass, and now into the clutches of Ben Kovac. The Indians' leading scorer, Kovac, right to the front, score! 4-4 four, four, on a 4-on-4 four four goal. Ben Kovac got around the edge and then held it, held it, and backhanded it behind the goaltender, Cottrell, to tie it up once more. Here's a second look. Cottrell just could not push all the way over, and all Kovac had to do was slide it in along the ice to knot this baby up. Great 17 on the year. Seeing Tomko go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Dish ahead, and there is that man again, Ruffner. Pulling free, Ruffner, he scores! His second goal of the game, and Upper St. Clair leads for the second time. Five to four, again off the rush. Colin Ruffner, a deft backhand tuck job under the crossbar. Beauty. As he got past Fisher, then it was him against the goaltender, Hilbert. Hilbert tried the poke check, just not quite quick enough. Ruffner with an awesome move to stash it right under the bar. Five to four year score. Ruffner's got four points in this game. Ten of this period. Essentially a breakaway. Didn't look like one at the blue line, but Ruffner churned those legs and got it going in a big way. New paper forces the turnover. Kovac coming off the wall. Right out in front. Hat trick goal for Will Tomko, and we're tied at five. Not so fast, says Peters Township. Kovac. The patience and then the pinpoint feed through sticks and bodies right onto the tape of Tomko for the tap in. And Tomko's got his third in this game, 17 on the year for him. I guess it's one of those anything you can do, I can do better nights. We're coming down to it. A win for PT puts them in solo first place. Win for St. Clair gets them closer to the top half of the playoff field. After starting two and four on the season, the Panthers have won four straight. Ruffner scanning, and he'll go below the goal line with this one. Playing it safe. It appears we're destined for OT as it's swatted out into the neutral zone. Malley trying to get a stick to it, could not. Final couple of seconds. Woods, one last opportunity, but time runs out before he can make anything happen. There's the buzzer. We're going to go to overtime on 10 Band TV. Time for a short break, and we'll bring it back. We'll play three-on-three, three, sudden death, for five minutes to see if we can decide a winner from Princecape Arena. The USC top three right back out there. Now Mertens taking the shot and put it over the net. You heard that bang off the glass. Taking down toward one minute to go already in the three-on-three. Three. Hardy with a hockey stop behind the net. Fed it on to Aaron Stawiarski. And here's Ruffner. Lines one up and scores! Colin Ruffner goes top shelf to the far side. And Upper St. Clair has won five in a row. They get it done six to five tonight at Princecape Arena. Ruffner finishes off the hat trick with the overtime winner just inside of a minute to play in sudden death. How about that for the Panthers? A resilient win. They trailed by two early. And they just kept on coming. And again, it's the big guys up top who eventually push that boulder over the hill. Stawiarski picks up an assist on that play. That's his fourth point of the night. And Ruffner rings it into the net past the blocker hand of Nolan Hilbert. Peters Township falls in overtime. PT still picks up a point as the two teams exchange handshakes at center ice. An incredible hockey game that we just saw. PT moves into a tie for first place. Three-way tie now atop AAA with that point garnered tonight. 
they're on 21 points along with Seneca Valley and North Allegheny. Uh, Seneca Valley losing last night. So, yes, we are all flat-footed atop Class AAA. Meanwhile, Upper St. Clair, one of the stories of the season. They've now won six out of seven and five in a row after a two and four start. And uh, they move up to eight, four and one on the season. Upper St. Clair now just a point behind Cathedral Prep for fifth place as their surge continues into the second half of the year. Well, Will Tomko had a hat trick. We saw a two goal game for Stawiarski, but three goals for Colin Ruffner, including the one that decides it. Thank you so much for watching on 10 Band TV tonight. As you can see, a lot of sportsmanship going on between these two sides. Great to see that.